This video will demonstrate how to run an automated mail merge using Google Sheets and the Google Sheets add-on Autocrat. We'll use the context of creating student self-reported progress reports for a class. In order to run an automated mail merge with Autocrat, you'll need to know how to utilize three separate Google tools. You'll need to be able to create a form for students to fill out, create an email template in Google Docs, and finally, utilizing Google Sheets, you have to run the Autocrat mail merge. To get started, let's head on over to a Google form and see what that needs to look like. So here we are in the sample student grade check Google form I made, and I want to point out a few features of this form. First, um, I asked for the student name, student email, parent or guardian name and parent or guardian email. Those are very important aspects of this because what's going to happen once we make our way over to our mail merge, we're going to actually address, automatically address an email to parents. So we'll need in the spreadsheet response to have both the student email, so a copy can go to the student, and the parent email, so the email can go to the parent. In this particular case, um, this is a grade check for an ELA class, so I ask the student what their current percentage is and their current letter grade. And then let's take a look at this bottom question in this section. Do you have any missing assignments? Yes or no? If the student has missing assignments, they're going to continue down to the missing work section of this Google form. But if they do not have missing assignments, they're going to go ahead and submit the form. What we need to do to make this happen is after you create this multiple choice yes or no question, we're going to hit the three dots at the bottom right hand corner of that question. And we'll, then we'll check go to section based on answer. Once you do that, we'll hit this box on the question tab that looks like a big equal sign to create a new section for missing work. Once you create that second section on your Google form, we'll click this drop down arrow to tell the form where we want the user to be directed if they select yes or if they select no. So in this case, if the user says yes I have missing assignments, we want them to go to the section labeled missing work. If they say no I do not have missing assignments, we want them to be finished and submit the form. So then I go ahead and add a couple questions about missing work, um, including what assignments are missing, what issues the students are having with the work they haven't turned in, and action items for the students to complete um, in order to get their work turned in. The last thing we need to do in our Google form is tell Google where we want our form responses to go. If you notice at the top of the form, there are two tabs, one tab labeled questions, and one tab labeled responses. By default, all of the form responses will live in the response section of this Google form. However, if we're going to use Autocrat, we need those responses to live in a spreadsheet. If you hover your mouse over the spreadsheet icon in the top right corner of the response section of this Google form, you'll notice that mine says view responses in sheets. Yours, however, may say create Google sheet. So you can go ahead and click that icon to create a Google Sheet where all of your form responses will go. So when I click on that, we will head on over to the Google Sheet that will hold all of our responses. Before we go any further in the mail merge process though, we need to create a template for the email that the parents are going to receive. To do that, let's head on over to Google Docs and take a look at the mail merge template that I've been working on. Autocrat is a useful tool because it will allow you to take your own template that you have in a Google Doc, place merge tags in that document The Autocrat will then fill with spreadsheet data and attach to an email. You'll notice here that I have merge tags after each section, student name, our student has ELA, current percentage in ELA and all the way down. A merge tag is text that is surrounded by what are called double carrots, two greater than symbols and two less than symbols. What Autocrat will do is replace this merge tag with data from a from a cell in the response spreadsheet so that your 
email will look just like this when a parent receives it. All of those merge tags that you created will be replaced with specific spreadsheet data. What you'll need to do is figure out what headings you want to be in that grade report that parents receive. And I'd like to go ahead and make the heading bold and then put a little merge tag. For this merge tag, it, the text will appear exactly as the merge tag appears. So if you put the merge tag in bold or a larger or smaller font, the text that replaces that merge tag will be that same font and have that same font style. So I just went through my form and I pick and I identified all the questions on the form and created a merge tag for each individual question. Once I finish my template, I'm going to go ahead and close that and head back over to the Google Sheet I've been working in. So in Google Sheets, we'll need to make sure we get the Google Sheets add-on Autocrat. Add-ons are tiny programs that add on to specific Google tools, in this case Google Sheets, to give that tool added functionality. To get an add-on or view the add-ons you have attached to Google Sheets already, click the Add-ons button at the top of the screen. Here you'll see all the add-ons that are added to my Google Sheets. Once you get an add-on, it will remain linked or downloaded to your Google Sheets until you remove it manually. To get add-ons, simply click Get Add-ons, and then in the search box, search for the add-on you're looking for, in our case, Autocrat. Follow the prompts to add Autocrat to your Google Sheets. So we're going to go ahead and open Autocrat. Once Autocrat opens up, we see that there are no merge jobs set up yet. So we're going to go ahead and click New Job. And I'll go ahead and name the job. This name is only for me. Parents or students won't see it. This is for me so I can keep track of if I happen to have multiple mail merges inside this one spreadsheet. So maybe I have one merge that goes to all the parents and then another one that comes just to me if a student has a more than three missing assignments. So I'll go ahead and give this a quick name. And then I'll hit next. The next thing it wants me to do is choose the correct template. So we made that template just a minute ago, so I'm going to click from Drive, and then I'll look in my Google Drive for my most recently opened files, and it's this one right here, copy of student grade check template. I'll hit select, I'll go ahead and hit next, and now we're going to take a look at this gray bar right here. And it has a couple things we can select from. First, it says Merge tab. So which tab of this spreadsheet holds the data that we're wanting to mail merge? If you look down at the bottom left corner of the screen here, there's only one active tab, Form Responses 1. So we're merging to Form Responses 1. Then Header Row is the row with the header data, so those merge tags that we're going to pull. And the first row of data is row 2, so the first row that could possibly be merged or sent into an email. Now we see all these merge tags that we created in the middle row. Name, ELA hour, current percentage, all the way down the line. And our next job is to map this to a column. So if Autocrat sees the merge tag name, which column should it look in to find that data? So I'll click in Maps to Column and map that to student name. So when Autocrat merges and it sees the merge tag name, it knows to look in the column student name, the row it's currently merging. So now I'll go ahead and map the rest of the merge tags that are listed here in Autocrat. Once I have mapped all of these merge tags, I'll go ahead and hit Next. The next thing I need to do is name the file that Autocrat will create. So in this case, once the mail merge completes, Autocrat will create a PDF that attaches to the email parents get, and we need to have a naming convention that will be on the PDF the parent gets, and also that same naming convention will be used to organize all of these student grade checks in our Google Drive. So I'm going to utilize this section that says File Name. Autocrat allows me to copy merge tags in my file name for easy naming. To access the merge tags, I'm going to click this blue bar with the gray arrow in it 
on the left side of the window. And I'm going to first select the student name tag. If I click on this merge tag here, it will copy the merge tag to my clipboard. And I'll click in file name, right click, and then click paste. So I'll name this file student name, self, grade, check, and then I'll pick the current date. So that's going to be another merge tag. And if I click today, that will be the current date. And hit paste. The next thing I need to do on this screen is decide whether I want the file to be shared as a PDF or a Google document. I always like to select PDF. And then how do I want them to output? If I select multiple documents, each individual grade check will be its own PDF. However, if I select single document, that means every grade check will be one PDF. In some cases, the single document is convenient, but in this case, we want to keep multiple documents selected. We'll then hit next. Now we need to tell Autocrat where we want all of these um, grade checks to go. So we need to choose a folder in our Google Drive. If you haven't done so already, you're going to want to go ahead and create a folder in your drive for student grade checks for this school year. I'll hit choose folder. It'll look in my drive and I will go ahead and select the folder that I'm looking for and hit select and then hit next. I usually skip the dynamic folder reference and just hit next. And now we have to select a merge condition. So under what circumstances do we want Autocrat to run this mail merge? I'm going to click add condition. And in this case, we want Autocrat to run the merge, so create the, the PDF and email it to the parent anytime someone submits the form. So in this case, I'll say if the column timestamp is not null or has something in it. So every time someone submits a form over here in timestamp, there'll be data. So whenever that cell is not empty, we want Autocrat to run the merge, create the PDF, and email it to the parent. And we'll hit next. Then share doc and send emails. Yes, we want to share this. We want to share it as a PDF. And next it says allow collaborators to reshare. I can leave that as yes. And then do we want to send it from a generic no reply email address or do you want it to come from you? Um, since this is going home to parent, you want it to come from the teacher. And now we're just going to build out our email. In the to field, we're going to pull the merge tag for parent email. So I clicked in to, and I'll click the gray arrow on the left and find parent guardian email. So I'll go ahead and click that merge tag, parent guardian email, and I'll copy it to my clipboard. Click in the two, right click and paste. I want to send a copy of this to the student as well so they know that they did it right. So I'll again click that arrow on the left, find student email, I'll click student email to copy it to my clipboard, and paste. If you'd like to also send it to yourself after a student email, comma, and then type your own email address. Then the subject line We'll go ahead and again grab that merge tag for student and then just say grade check and then pull the date. I'll type a brief message to parents pulling a few merge tags and then we'll get ready to send this email. So I went ahead and built out this email template and I want you to notice a few things. First, um, I set this up so that I don't have to go back into this throughout the year. Um, this is something that my class will do every Friday. So I went ahead and just said, hi, parent or guardian. So this will pull the name that the student puts in that parent or guardian field. It says your child and then the student's name has just completed his or her weekly ELA grade check for the week ending today. So I don't have to go and edit this every week to say what day it is or every month or every whatever. Um, it'll pull, AutoCrowd will automatically pull the current date. The grade check is attached to this email. Please review it and ask your child if you have any questions regarding missing work. If you have additional questions after that, feel free to reach out to me. So parents are going to get this email with the student's self-assessment.
assessment grade check attached to it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now that that's finished, and I want to select this run on form trigger. That means that this will run whenever a form is submitted. And then it says you must enable triggers, so I'm going to say yes. It'll then update the project triggers. Autocrat will then update the project triggers so that we can have the form triggers enabled, meaning that any time someone submits a form, Autocrat will run. Once we have added the form triggers, we'll hit save, and then that will save the merge job, and as students fill out this form, the grade check will be created. If you need to edit this mail merge, simply go to Add-ons, Autocrat, and Open. Then once Autocrat is opened, you can hover over the mail merge, and you can hit the pencil to edit it. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill out this Google form, and we're going to take a look at what a completed mail merge looks like. Now that I've filled out a sample student grade check, I want to take a look at a couple things that have shown up in this spreadsheet. If we scroll all the way to the right, we'll notice that Autocrat added a few columns to the spreadsheet. The first one is a document ID. The second two are links to the merged PDF. And the third one is the document merge status. If we look at that column P, we'll see that the document was successfully merged, a PDF was created, and we'll also see who emails were sent to. So on my end from this spreadsheet, I can see if Autocrat is in fact doing its job. Now that we know it's run successfully, let's take a look at what that email to the parent actually looks like. In this email, we can see that the merge worked perfectly. The Autocrat merged all of the columns, so we have the parent name here, the student name that we merged from a tag, and the current date. We also take a look at that PDF attachment and see that everything merged just like we expected it to. So the great thing about this is that it looks like this parent got a personal email from me when actually I just took five minutes in class for kids to take a look at their grades and what they're missing, fill out a Google form, and Autocrat did all of the work for me. Use the comments section below to let me know if you've tried this out, how it's gone, or if you have any other suggestions for using Autocrat, Autocrat to automate classroom processes. Thanks, and have a great day.